Okay, a pretty short assignment here, I'm not going to lie. Um, you need to make my eight boxes. Graph each inequality. So here's the first one. Negative 4 less than or equal to x less than or equal to 8. This is called a compound inequality. Okay. Here's what you do. You're going to make a little mini table. Circle that and put that on one side. Now overlap with the middle. Okay. So here are your two signs. Now you overlap and you go x and 8. And now you can just graph them. So, you circle above your negative 4, fill it in, and above your 8, fill it in. This eats x, okay? So that goes this way. This eats the 8, okay? So it goes this way. Now you connect them. Now here's how you do this. You label it. You put x just once. Then you put negative 4 on one side, 8 on the other. You know you have to eat the 8, and here you have to eat the x, but you do have to flip that sign because now x is o or no 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 never mind. You just copy down the sign. Okay, that's it. This is what I'm what I want. Okay, next one five. So here are my signs. So on one side I got five less than or equal to x. So on the other side I have x less than or equal to 12. So 5 and 12 are the critical numbers. They can both be positive. You're going to fill in both circles. Eats the x with the 5, eats the 12, so it goes the other way. So you put x, you put 5 on one side, 12 on the other. You always eat the maximum, but you never will eat the minimum. Okay, because that's the smallest number you have. You should never open up the sign or eat that number. You always have to eat that number. Okay, next one. Negative 16. So make your table. And you're going to you split your compound inequality into two separate inequalities. So you got negative 16. Less than or equal to x. And then x less than or equal to negative 2. So I got negative 16 and negative 2. Circle, fill, circle, fill. You eat eats the x there, so from the negative 16 we go forward. Here it eats the number, okay? Eats negative 2. So go backwards. So that means x can be any number in that range right there. So x negative 16, negative 2. Always eat the maximum, never eat the minimum. Okay, then the last one we got negative 5, less than or equal to x, less than or equal to 17. So split it into two separate ones. So we have negative 5, less than or equal to x, x, less than or equal to 17. So negative 5 and 17. Fill them both in. That's eating the x, so this way. That's eating the number, so the other way. Always eat the maximum, because it should always open up towards the maximum. It will never open up or eat the minimum. Okay. Okay, then you got some statements that you're going to write as an inequality. You're going to graph the solution. You're actually going to graph your solution first, then you'll know how to write the inequality. The speed limit is between 50 miles per hour and 80 miles per hour. So I make my graph first. Okay? So 50 and 80. Now if you just think about it, you have to go, you can go above 50, but you can't go above 80. So there's a graph. Now pick a letter, you can pick S or X, whatever, I don't care. But 50 on one side, 80 on the other. 80 is the highest you can go, so we have to open up the sign towards the 80. Okay, 
we can't, we're not going to be going under 50. 50 is the minimum I can go, so I always want to eat the variable there. Okay. Yeah, these both these signs will both go the same direction. Okay. Okay, next one. The temperature is between 10 degrees and 60 degrees. Okay, so I've got 10 and 60. Now you're going to be above 10, but you're going to be below 60. Fill them both in because you actually can be at that number. So you can put T or X or whatever. I put in T for temperature. Then you got 10 and 60. Open. Eat the sign. The sign will eat 60. It will never eat the 10. Okay. Okay, the percent for an A is between 93% and 100%. So 93% one hundred. Okay, so you want to get an A. Well, you can be above 93 but less than 100. So, P for percent, 93, 100. Pretty much the same way every time. You always eat the maximum but you never eat the minimum. And that's how to write a compound inequality when you can be between two numbers. Okay, the air pressure of a basketball is between 7.5 psi, that means pounds per square inch, that's how you measure air pressure, and 8.5 psi. Okay, so you got 0 and you got 7.5 and 8.5. Okay. Well, you can be above 7.5, you just can't be above 8.5. So put P for pressure. You can put whatever, If you want to put X every time, that's fine too. So you got 7.5 on this side, 8.5 on this side. Maximum, we always eat or open up towards the maximum, but we never do that with the minimum. When I'm doing the variable and the minimum, it should always eat or open towards the variable. 